Daddy. Brought him back. Yeah. What's the matter with him? He's dead. Yeah. Dead drunk. <laughs> oh, Scotty. Where'd you find him? In the canteen in the village. A little spitfire by the name of Panchita was going to stick a knife at me because I took him away from her. He should be proud of himself. Now, you know it's natural for a young colt to kick up its heel. Well, it's just as natural for a young buck like the kid to have a little fling. Have to fling himself in the gutter? I don't think it's that bad. You were working in a cantina when I married you. I was very young then, and I only worked there because I could sing. I wasn't like those other girls. I know that, Margarita Mia. You may know about horseflesh, Scotty, but you're a fool about people. I'm a fool about you. Always picking up strays. Kid first, and then me. Kid's a stray. Ran away from me, I hardly laid eyes on him for three years. When I did bump into him a couple of months ago, though, it was just like meeting my own brother. He's not like I remember him at all. He's young and wild. But he'll grow up just like you did. How about some grub? We gotta get some food in him. Supper's ready. Panchita! <laughs> <laughs> My pretty Panchita. Why is that your Panchita? Of course not, Margarita. <laughs> Kid, you drunken fool, stop it. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> I don't think he's so crazy. <laughs> Like old times with you two scuffling around. <laughs> Here, throw this in you. That'll nail your feet down. Hey, Scotty, help me get my head back on. Oh, forget it. Feels better off. <laughs> That's what I like, a good sense of humor. <laughs> I must have passed out awful sudden. Yeah. Awful sudden. <laughs> Here, eat. <laughs> you gotta hit the blankets early tonight. We're breaking camp the first thing in the morning. We? <laughs> Maybe you and Margarita. Not me. I thought when you joined up on this wild horse hunt, we were gonna be partners. Like the old days before you left. The old days are gone forever, Scotty. There aren't enough wild horses left to make it worthwhile hunting them down anymore. Except Thunderhoof. <laughs> Thunderhoof. <laughs> You're as loco as a Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> You've been leading us into the worst country this side of the Rio Grande. And for what? <laughs> a ghost. A ghost, huh? He's right over there in those mountains, only a day or two away. <laughs> only a day or two away. He's always only a day or two away. It's the truth this time. I talked to an Indian who saw him. Sure, sure. <laughs> Every chow and peon in Mexico has been trying to corral Thunderhoof. <laughs> Tronador, the horse of heaven. Maybe you'll have to go to heaven to get him. Not me. Uh, uh, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you let him go? Because it'll take both of us to catch thunder. <laughs> Are you lonesome, kid? <laughs> it seems to me you tried to corral that wild caballo a year ago. What makes you think he'll hold still for you now? It's only me and Margarita then. But both of us will get him, sure. Listen, kid, if you'd ever see him, that beautiful head and that fire in his eyes, you'd never forget him. He's a great stud kid, great. Is this so? 
He's strong, barrel-chested, got a heart of iron. Heart of iron. The markings on him, they, they look like they were painted on him. Black and white. Black and white. Most beautiful thing you ever saw. His stride must be 20 feet long. When he runs, when he runs, his, his hoofs sound like thunder. Listen, kid, we're gonna make him the start of the finest breed of horses in Texas. We? Yeah, you, me, and Margarita. <laughs> no, three gets crowded. I hope Panchita's still in the cantina in the morning. In the morning, when you sober up, we're starting for Thunderhoof. Now, Scotty, if I don't want to stay here, just how you plan on keeping me, huh? <laughs> well, there's only one sure way I know. horse has been through here all right and not long ago. Yeah, and all we have to do is whistle and they'll come a-running. Well, only after one this time. And according to the Indians, he's a lot more than just a horse. They tell a story about him. They believe that whoever catches Thunderhoof has judgment passed on him and gets whatever's coming to him right here on Earth. I'll take mine with a twist of lemon peel. <laughs> <laughs> you give up too easy. Let's give him a little rest. Ain't you worried none about leaving Margarita back there alone to make camp? Nah, she's got a rifle. She can shoot as good as she can cook. <laughs> I believe you think more of that wild horse than you do of her. <laughs> you treat her just like a squaw. Why do you say that? Oh, all these years out on the trail, sleeping in the brush. That's what she wanted to be with me. Well, I can think of a better life for a woman. So can I. That's why this is going to be the last trek. I already made a payment on a place where we can start our horse ranch. Gonna give her everything I can. Just one happy little family, huh? She's a fine girl, kid. Good. Getting prettier all the time. Yeah, she's a good-looking skirt, all right. Don't call her a skirt, kid. She's my wife. I didn't mean it that way, Scotty. It's just that she's different. When I went away, she was more like a kid. Yeah. Now she's a full-grown woman. Yeah. She's a grown woman. Give the little woman my regards. What are you saying? Through that pass there lies the trail to San Luis Potosi. This is where I turn off. I could understand that the other night. That was booze talk. Now you're sober. Uh-uh. It's been 10 years since I pulled you out of that quicksand bog over in the Pecos. Ever since then, you've been like a brother and a partner. I just about raised you, and now you're going to pull up. You've been paid back plenty. 
You remember when you gave me this? It was your pocket knife. It was the only thing in the world you owned. You can't leave now. Not while we're this close to Thunderhoof. Close, my eye. Why, ten men couldn't catch a wild horse in these rocks. That's your only reason for pulling out? That and one other. You're like that quicksand, Scotty, dragging me down. Always thinking what you want to think, doing what you want to do, going where you want to go. I know now that's why I left before. I only tried to raise you right. <laughs> You're not going. Let loose those reins, Scotty. Not until you listen to reason. Stand where you are. Give me that rein. I'm taking your horse. You're gonna leave me out here without any food and water, with no way to get out? I just don't want to be followed, that's all. I'll tie your horse a couple of miles down the trail. Time you catch up with him, it'll be too late to follow. Okay, kid. Go your way. <laughs> He's our horse, kid. He's our horse. Let's go. Come on, Scotty. Make it up over that ridge. Come on. Scotty, let go of that. The horses are winded. You'll kill him. Yeah. You gotta save him. Well, come on, we'll walk him. Might as well try and rope a streak of lightning. Scotty, you're crazy. These mountains will kill you. I begin to believe that Indian story. That's not a horse, it's a devil. I don't care what he is or where he goes. I'll follow him clean across Mexico.
Hey, Scotty. Scotty. Thunderhoff. Yeah, he's trapped. Scotty, now. Months of saddle leather, cheap grub, and no sleep. No, kid! No! He'll kill you! <laughs> I can help some. With a busted peg? Uh-uh. We can leave him here. Oh, no. He'd kill himself wrestling on that rope. All right, it's your funeral. I'll get some splints and set that leg. Kid. Yeah? Thanks. For what? Saving my life? <laughs> Thunderhoof. He's 
wonder. Yeah, they should have called him Thunderbolt. Go on up and pet him if you want to get your head kicked in. That's his mare. Horses follow their mates into trouble, too. Hello, Margarita. Scotty. What happened? What happened, can't you see? We got him. We got Thunderhoof. They said he couldn't be caught. But your leg. Yeah, ain't it a shame? <laughs> hey, kid, I guess you'll have to give me a hand. His leg's busted. He can send Thunder the bill for that. I knew something would happen. <coughs> I'm all right now. I'm all right. I just need a little rest, that's all. <laughs> Shouldn't hurt you that much. Scott. Will you two stop worrying? I tell you, I'm going to be all right. Can't you do something? I better have another look at the leg. Look, Margarita. Look at him. He's the beginning of our ranch. Everything we've been talking and thinking about for so long. It's that ride back, Scotty. The brake's been dislocated. I'll have to reset it. Go ahead. Get the whiskey, Margarita. What's the whiskey for? Are we gonna celebrate? <laughs> All right. You ready? You can pull it off if you want to. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. And they said we couldn't catch him. <laughs> that ought to fix it. <laughs> Try and get some sleep, Scotty. To you, you black hearted high binder. You could use one yourself. I want to thank you, kid, for what you did for Scotty. He's already thanked me. Thinking of running out on him again? I never ran out on Scotty. It wasn't him I come back to see, either. Don't say things like that. Why not? Because you're still Scotty's wife? Yes. What difference does that make? What difference? Because it's wrong. Because he's your friend and my husband. And because he picked us both up out of nowhere and did so much for us? Yes, that too. You didn't say those things three years ago. Whatever I said then was foolish. It's dead and gone. I grew up. I changed. I grew up too. In some ways, I didn't change. Stop that kind of talk or get out. <laughs> You'd have a fine time, wouldn't you, trying to handle a wild horse and a one-legged man alone? I was gonna leave. Now I can't. If it hadn't been for Thunderhoof, I'd have been in San Luis Potosi by now. And you'd have had nothing to be afraid of. I'm not afraid of you, kid. Yourself, maybe? No, that either. I'm in love with Scotty. I belong to him. 
Yeah. I can see that. He's even got his brand on you. But even some brands wear off in time. Wake me up in time to eat. I sure did sleep. <sighs> How you feel? Fine. Thanks. The leg hardly hurts at all now. Good. Where's the kid? Still sleeping, I guess. Gonna rain? I don't think so. Too early in the season for it. I hope not. Scotty, I wish we were away from here. We will be, and real quick. We're gonna start for the States the first thing in the morning. You, me, and the kid, and Thunderhoof. Look at him. Won't be another horse in Texas like him. He's great and beautiful and frightening. What are you afraid of? Ten days from now, we'll be right under our own roof. In your own house, Margarita. Nothing ever stops you, does it, Scotty? <laughs> Not even a broken leg. <clears throat> it will this time. You can pack away that dream house he goes for a while, too. Look who's talking. Maybe six months or more, but the rain's coming on. Right now, we got to get you to a doctor. Ah, uh, you fixed my leg up fine. It'll be all right till I get to El Paso. Ah, uh -uh. not El Paso. It's almost as far to Chihuahua. We don't have to go that far. That cantina's only a day and a half away. Day and a half there and a day and a half back. It's three days lost. Besides, what do they know about doctoring? You know what they do when a man breaks his leg? They shoot him. <laughs> Oh, I know. They're going to spend all those months tracking down that wild stallion and leave him to die of old age in Mexico. We're heading for the States. How are you going to ride that far with your leg in two pieces? We thought you'd ask something like that. You're going to make me a sling out of some branches and a blanket. We're hanging on the saddle. Got it all figured out while I've been laying here. I wasn't asleep all the time. All right, Scotty. Like I said before, it's your funeral. Funeral. <laughs> Going all right? Just like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> yes, sir. Just like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> that jackass Bray of his. Don't you ever get tired of it? I don't much care what he sounds like, as long as he keeps feeling good. He's not feeling good. He's been putting it on ever since we left. For another couple of days, I wish he took our advice about seeing a doctor. You know, Scotty. Yeah, I know. His way and nobody's. What's the matter with you, you bullheaded fuck? <laughs>
so jumpy. I was only trying to warn you about that rattlesnake up there. That horse is part human. Horses have more sense than humans sometimes. Don't ever let me see you try to hit that horse again. I mean it. I'll take him from here in. Come on, boy. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Nobody. I believe if it come to a choice between us and that horse, he'd take the horse. prove how tough he is. He needs rest. We'll make camp as soon as we hit those hills, whether he likes it or not. He's been acting different ever since he caught that horse. He must have heard those things you said to me. Right now, I don't care whether he did it. Don't tell me that brand of his is wearing off already. She's following. Homer! 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 Better let me lead it. Now. All right. I'm going to put an end to this stopping all the time. You can rope that mare and bring her along. She'll keep thunder quiet. Isn't one crazy horse enough? Kid, we can get them both. We can start a strain that nobody can touch. I couldn't get close enough to rope that mare alone in a million years. I'm gonna shoot her. Kid! No! Kid, come back here! Right after him and stop him. If you can't stop him, Scotty. How'd you expect me to? safe. Come on, boy. From now on, you're gonna hold your temper. You gotta let that mare alone. As for mistreating Thunder, I already warned you about that. You got that straight? Yeah, I got it. But you're forgetting something. That renegade Bronx slowing us down. At this rate, we'll never get out of this forsaken country. He's what we come down here for, ain't he? Yeah, and worse luck, we got him. If you had any sense, you'd turn back. That kind of talk ain't helping things a bit. It ain't just talk. Ask the cook there how much grub's left. Well? We're running short. How short? I don't know. The bacon's all gone. We got some beans and flour left. Four or five days if we're careful. Ah, we'll make it last twice that. You got to eat. You got to have strength to get well. I got strength. If I got it, you two have. I tell you, turn loose that horse from heaven. No! Scotty, we could starve. We could even die out here. Then we're good with that horse, do you? Oh, you too, huh? Is that what you were talking over on the trail today? Little planning against me, huh? Nobody said anything till just now. Any plan has been done, done for your own good. Ah, oh, we're all arguing about nothing. If we stick together, our troubles will be over in ten days. Ten days? <laughs> you said that four days ago. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> well, we're holding our own anyway. <laughs> That's what we all need, a couple of laughs. Kid, throw me a cigarette. Margarita, come on, sit over here with me. Well, it's a little more like it. Nice moonlight night. It's a cozy little family by the fireside. Eh, Maggie? Don't call me Maggie. I've asked you a hundred times not to. I keep forgetting, Margarita. But you don't remember the first time you ever did that. It was the day I pulled you out of the quicksand. Guess it's the first time you ever rolled a cigarette. Spill a half a sack of tobacco. Guess he was just trying to show me his gratitude. I 
I didn't get it. He's always doing things like that for me. Couldn't have been more than 15 at that time. Bet you never thought the kid would grow up to be a lady killer. Good thing I saw you first or he'd have been making eyes at you. How do you know I didn't anyway? <laughs> I'd have tanned your britches till they were threadbare. <laughs> Better clean up the pants. Ah, oh, wait a while. Maybe you don't like it here. Of course I do, Scotty. <laughs> the kid was 19. He really thought he was a man. Remember Zacatecas? Got mixed up with a little machacha down there twice his age. Yeah, I remember. Wasn't she the one I took away from you? You know I never had any truck with passing women. Besides, <laughs> you couldn't take anything away from me. <laughs> Not even myself, huh, Scotty? Funny thing about me and the kid. We've been together so long, I know what's on his mind almost before he does. If you're trying to get his goat about something, Scotty, you're wasting your time. Why would I want to do that? You know what I think? I think for some reason you're afraid of the kid. <laughs> afraid? Try to fight me, will you? Let that horse alone! <laughs> You hit him again, or so help me out. I warned you again and again. Yeah. Kid. Let him go. We can't. Let him go, I said. We can't. We need his help. He hit Thunder. I shouldn't have hit him. But Scotty, don't you see? Without the kid, none of us will get out. You or me. I don't care. Or Thunder. That's right. Go after him. Bring him back. Make him come back. Nobody's going to hurt you, Thunder. Kid. Kid? Hello. I wondered if you'd follow. You wondered? Sure. I'm too important a member of this expedition for Scotty to let me go now. Then you're not running away. Uh-uh. I'm never gonna run away again and leave you behind. Then I'll go back. What's your hurry? Scotty? Oh, Scotty. When are you going to start thinking about yourself? About the things you want to do? I'll have everything I want when we get back over there. <laughs> A two-by-four horse ranch with nothing but back-breaking labor from dawn till dark. Someday it'll be a big ranch. Sure. And then you'll find yourself married to an old man. While you're still young. Let go of me, kid. You belong in places like Dallas, Kansas City, and New Orleans right now. Going to cabarets and parties and dances. I never seen a gal in any of them places as pretty as you, with all their stylish clothes. You been to New Orleans? Sure. You didn't think I'd been punching cattle the whole time I was gone, did you? Well, you'd have the folks in them places goggling at you for blocks. But I reckon you'd rather herd horses. No, I wouldn't. Better act. But you got Scotty. We don't either of us owe him anything. And you don't love him any more than I do. That's not true. It is true. You can tell it every time you look at him. He said I never could take anything away from him. There's one thing I'm gonna take away from him just as soon as we hit the States. To you, Maggie.
that fever. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. What do we got? Some flatbread. Get some coffee, that's all there is. I think I'll have a double serving of chicken and dumplings, and sweet corn on the side, and a big slab of green apple pie. <laughs> How can you make jokes? <laughs> Our food, and he's sick. He doesn't have rest, and the right things to eat is gonna get worse. Maybe he'd die. Well, there's only one thing to do. Wait till this rain lets up. We'll try to get a shot at something we can eat. Here? Whoever was here is gone. There's a bed for him as soon as I get rid of this mad Oriano. Saddle, Scotty. Call home a thousand miles from nowhere. I'm gonna take another look at this leg, and then you're gonna get what you need most. Sleep. Yeah. Sleep. See if these people left any grub behind. Cover him up good.
I said last night, there's nothing like stewed chicken with dumplings and sweet corn on the cob. Mosquito muy chiquitito, muy querendón. Ayer me picó un mosquito muy chiquitito, muy querendón. Me daba unos piquititos que me llegaban al corazón. Me daba unos piquititos que me llegaban al corazón. Son. I, I thought I was dreaming. It's a real Spanish shawl. I found it over a chair. I had to see how it looked on. You think it makes me pretty? Well, I could say it another way. You make it pretty. I've never worn anything as wonderful as this. I told you, you'll have lots of them in New Orleans. Play something, kid. Play something like I used to sing in the cantina. She could dance and she could sing and she was mighty pretty, but I didn't have no diamond ring, so I left the gal behind me. Scotty, what you doing up? Smell those flapjacks and eggs and raise a dead man. Serve them up. Where'd you get that crutch? There's a support under the shelf in there. Pretty good, huh? Glad you're feeling better. Fever's all gone. Uh-huh. Where's the folks that live here? I don't know. The fire was still warm when we got here yesterday. And they left part of their food and clothes like they moved out suddenly. I wonder why. Right now, it don't make any difference. Where's the kid? Out feeding the horses. Thunder all right? 
Scotty, the kid found this place for us. We owe our lives to him. Yeah, because we do. No matter how you fought with him, you've got to admit he stuck by you. By me or you? All right, then, by me, too. But he kept me going when I wanted to give up. Is that wrong? No. You should be grateful to him. I'm sure you are. Hey, Maggie. Maggie. Yeah, I thought you were... Be dying? You should have been a doctor, kid. You fixed me up fine. Hey, Maggie. That well's running dry again. So the water I could get out of it until some more seeps in. Breakfast ready, kid. Yeah, so I see. Well, this is what I call living. This is the way our house is going to be. Except I think we'll have the kitchen separate. Gonna have plumbing, too. An artesian well and water right in the house. That'll be something to look forward to. Gonna have a real tin bathtub for you, too, Mac. Margarita. With a special room where you can be all by yourself, just take it easy and soak. Just like the fine ladies in New Orleans. New Orleans? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Don't forget the soap, Scotty. Sure, we're gonna have soap. Kind of smells just like flowers. Yeah, you gotta smell pretty for Thunderhoof and all the rest of them horses you're gonna have around. <laughs> I'm gonna give her everything I promised her. Maybe for the last few days, that kind of talk was like whistling in the dark. But right now, with water, fresh grub, we got everything we need to get through. We still got some mountains in the desert to cross, and that desert's the toughest part. Wasn't so tough coming down, was it? We better hold up here for a couple of weeks. Till you're fit to travel. I'm fit to travel right now. You mean leave today? Certainly today. You hear that wind? A week will be blowing nothing but trouble. Don't you want to get in your own house? Or for some reason, do you like this one better? Of course not, Scotty. I'll start getting the things ready. Oh. Before I forget it. What's that for? We're using this house and the... Grub and stuff we're taking. If you take things from people, kid, you gotta pay the price. Unless you go in for stealing. And there comes a time when a man has to pay for that, too. You're all right now, boy. You're all right now. Oh, easy, boy. But he's gonna hurt you. Why doesn't he say something? Speak out what's in his mind. Maybe he's afraid of really knowing the truth. Or maybe he figures it's more important to keep peace in the family till he gets that stallion home safe. I'll get the horses. What's the matter? Out of water again? There's a water hole down there. Finish filling this from it. Have to be in here. Margarita, makes me want to have our own place more than ever. It's a good day today. We ought to cover a lot of ground. Let's. Wait, Margarita, don't use that. I don't know why those folks left here. Here's a grave. I hadn't seen it. The writing says it was a little girl died about three days ago with some burning sickness. My guess is it was typhoid. Typhoid? Yeah, when that well dried up, they had to get water from that hole. I've seen it happen in bogs like that before. That's what scared those people out of here. Have you used any of it? No. Good. The sooner we leave here, the better. Of your mountains. The tough desert will be just as easy. Take a look, Thunder. Take a look. In a few days you'll be eating Texas grass. We'll camp down there in the lower level tonight. 
You all right? Of course I'm all right. Thunder? No. Which one? Yours. Margarita stampeded with the food packs. I'm going after him. No. No, you're not. Left the packs on the horses, huh? Figuring on running out on me. My faithful little wife. And a desert rat that I picked out of a sand bog. Scotty. Get away from me, Maggie. Better shoot straight, Scotty. I ain't gonna shoot you. I ain't through with you yet. What difference does it make? Only one horse and all the food gone. We'll still get out. That bay might carry two people. Who stays behind? Me? You're forgetting Thunder. I'll ride him. But he's wild. He's not broken. That's the kid's job. And he'll do it if there's any man left in him. If he wants to live, he'll do it. You thought he couldn't ride him. You thought he'd be killed, didn't you? Didn't you? I don't know. I don't know what I thought. Well, maybe you will be killed. Maybe you'll get your wish. <laughs>
There's your tronador, your horse from heaven. Even a cripple can ride him now. A word. There's nothing for him to say. He knows he's licked. I'm afraid. But it can't stop you from leaving now, unless... Unless what? Hey, Scotty! Scotty! Can't you keep up? You and me gonna have this out right now, Scotty. Anything you gotta say, I'll keep. You better ride ahead, Maggie. What I gotta say ain't gonna be pretty. You cannot. Go on, do as he says. Think you know where we're going? Sure, I know. Head straight for that saddle as it pass through the mountains there. You wouldn't be figuring on getting us lost. And then running out on us, would you? Why would I want to do that? You could make it from here on without us. You don't need us anymore. No food, short on water. You wouldn't last long, would you? Yeah. That'd be one way for you to keep me from getting margarita. They didn't think about it, but it's an idea. They didn't? Then why are we farther than we are? The wind's holding us back. Besides, you're riding double. You're lying. What's the matter with you? Are you sick? You're going to tell me the truth or I'm going to beat it out of you. Kid! Stop him! Stop Thunder! Thunder, come back! Thunder! You lost him. After all, you lost him. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe we can still make it. All three of us. You're a strong kid. You can walk almost as fast as a sorrow. While you and her ride? Ah. Uh, none of us ever get through then. No, Scotty. You're staying. Go on. Let her hear it. Let her hear the shot. I can't think of a quicker way for you to lose her. <laughs> uh, Don't make any difference now. Even if you stay behind, you'll die out here. Anything you do now, anything. You lose her. No, Scotty. There's another way. Your way. Up! Ah! up to. He's gone. Scotty's gone? He'd been planning it all along. He rode off on Thunderhoof, laughed, said I'd never have you because we'd never get out of here alive. He knew we couldn't keep up with him on that horse. Kid, I can't believe it. I don't know. Maybe we got it coming to us. But we'll fool him. We can make it. I remember the way back now. All we have to do is head for that saddle in the mountain. Come on, we got to get out of here. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I just need water, that's all. Kid, just a swallow. We'll need it. Yeah.
crazy. You'd have drunk it all. Where's your own? It's gone. Water. Burning up. You sick? You've got fever. Kid, that water in your canteen, didn't it come out of the well? No, the water oh, was easier. Kid, that water was bad. Yeah? <laughs> Nobody told me. Horse. Where's the horse? He wandered off. We can still make it. We can walk it. Scotty said we could walk it. We just keep heading for that saddle on the mountain. Can't see it. I don't know which way. What do you mean, Scotty said you could walk it? Well, he, we talked about the desert before we got here. Why would Scotty tell you how to get across the desert and then run away if he expected us to die? Well, he didn't. He, he... Scotty didn't run away. You did something to him. No. What did you do to him? You killed him. No. His horse ran away, and it was him or me, so I left him there. To die that way? Well, it makes things easier for us, don't it? It's me you want, not him. You could have stood it. We could have sent help before it was too late. I think... I think you still love him. I thought I didn't. Get away from me. So I'm not good enough for you anymore. <laughs> what difference does it make when you're dead? <laughs> Maybe I ain't gonna be dead. Maybe I can make it. Kid! I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm no good for you. I run out on Scotty. Just like I always run out on everything. He's here between us, right now. You belong with him, Maggie. I can't give him back. Drink, kid. Drink. Funny. I got a thirst as big as thunders.
So long, kid. Scotty. Yes, Margarita. Scotty. The kid's gone. I know. He wasn't a bad kid, Scotty. No. Just young, wild. He never grew up because I wouldn't let him. Scotty, after the way I've hurt you. Don't. Look. Thunder, brother. Margarita Mia. We're all going home. <laughs> 